गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन टुडे वी आर टू डिस्कस अबाउट द द डायलेक्टिक्स ओके नाउ सी हियर वी कोस टेलिंग द व्हाट इज मीन बाय डायलेक्टिक्स यू मस्ट नो दैट व्हाट इज मीन बाय इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स ओके सी हियर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स व्हिच मेनली डील्स विद द चार्ज व्हिच आर एट रेस्ट ओके सी हियर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स मींस इट इज द branch of physics which mainly deals with the charges at the rest okay now see here what is mean by dielectric okay you have to know that what is mean by electric electrostatics then tell me what is mean by dielectrics okay dielectrics are the insulating materials dielectric are the insulating materials in which the charges are tightly bound at the nuclei of the atom are you understand dielectric are the insulating materials in which the charges are tightly bound to the nuclei of this atom okay therefore then that is called dielectric okay and you have to know that if the charges are or electrons are tightly bound in this nucleus then what happens there is no free electrons if the electrons are tightly bound to the nuclei of of an atom then there is no free charges are available if there is no free charges are available it means there is no uh, motion of the charges because the electrons are tightly bound to the nuclei of an atom okay therefore the electric conductivity of this dielectric materials electric conductivity of this dielectric materials is zero are you understand the electric conductivity of the dielectric materials is zero because the you have to know that by the definition of the dielectrics these are the insulating materials in which the electrons or charges are tightly bound to a nuclear atom if the electrons are tightly bound then what happens there is no free charges are available if the, there is no free charges are available to carry the current then there is no electric conductivity therefore the electric conductivity of the dielectric is zero then what are the examples for the dielectrics okay you have to know that that is glass mica rubber plastic and so on these are all examples for the dielectric because they are not able to flow the charges okay next year we will again classify this dielectrics into two types okay that is first one is the non polar molecules and second one is the polar molecules okay first one is the non polar molecules and second one is the non polar sorry polar molecules okay then tell me what is mean by non polar molecules is here these are the molecules in which the center of gravity of the positive charges are coincide with the center of gravity of the negative charges okay <coughs> these are the molecules in which the center of gravity of the positive charges are coincide with the center of gravity of the negative charges okay then that type of the molecules are called non polar molecules This here center of gravity of positive charge means. Okay, what are the positive charges in an atom? We have to know that that is proton. Proton is the positive charge as well as the electron is the negative charge. Okay, are you understand the definition of the non-polar molecules? These are the molecules in which the center of gravity of positive charges are coincide with the center of gravity of negative charges. Okay, that type of molecules are called non-polar molecules. Then, what are the examples for non-polar molecules? That is, S two, O two, N two, and so on. These are all the non-polar molecules. And one important thing here: non-polar molecules have the permanent dipole moment. Okay, these molecules have contains the permanent dipole moment. Okay, and second one, the second type of the dielectric is. that is polar molecules okay 
Now you already have known that the definition of the non-polar molecules. That is the center of gravity of the positive charge is at one side of the center of gravity of the negative charge. That is called non-polar molecules. Then what is mean by polar molecules? See here. The center of gravity of the positive charge is are not coincide with the center of gravity of the negative charge. Okay. Both the positive charge and negative charge are not coincide one another. Therefore, that type of molecules are called polar molecules. Polar molecules are the molecules in which the center of gravity of the positive charges are not coincide with the center of gravity of the negative charges. Okay, that is called polar molecules. Then what are the examples for polar molecules? That is H2O and water and CO2. Sorry, C2O. Okay, these are all the examples for the polar molecules. Okay, and one more thing already you have to know that non-polar molecules are the permanent type of moment but the polar molecules have the not permanent type of moment okay now come to the another point that is electric dipole okay now tell me what is mean by electric dipole see here electric dipole okay what is mean by electric dipole a pair of equal and opposite charges a pair of equivalent opposite charges. These are the equal, a pair of equivalent opposite charges. A pair of equivalent opposite charges that are separated by some certain distance. A pair of equivalent opposite charges that are separated by certain distance that is called electric dipole. Okay, are you understand? Electric dipole means it is a pair of charges that are separated by a certain distance. That is called electric dipole. The next one, dipole moment. Okay, what is mean by dipole moment? The product of sphere. Dipole moment means the product of the one of the charges and distance between them. The product of the one of the charges and distance between them is called the dipole moment or electric dipole moment. Are you understand that? Dipole moment means here the product of the one of the charges and the distance between them. Okay? That is called dipole moment. This here Suppose you have to consider one atom. Okay. Here we have to consider the one atom. Okay. See here that is near the electric field. Okay. When you have, there is no external electric field. That is mean is not applied to an atom. Okay. We have to know that the atom is considered of the number of the molecules here. Okay. If there is no electric field applied to this molecules, then what happens? The Molecules are moving in the random motion. The molecules are moving in the random motion with some individual dipole moment. Okay. Suppose an external electric field is applied to the field, that is uh, atom or uh, number of the molecules. Then what happens if the electric field is applied to the uh, atom of the molecules? Then the all the molecules are moving in the in direction with the electric field okay and one more thing which happened here this all individual type of moments are combined together and moving in the one dipole moment okay that is called dipole moment and one thing here the dipole moment the dipole moment is directly proportional to the electric field here when you have to apply a certain electric field to the uh, molecules, then the dipole moment is also increases. Okay? It means the dipole moment is directly proportional to the electric field E. If you have to remove this proportional thing, then you have to get this some constant term that is alpha here, therefore P equal to alpha into E. Where here alpha is called 
constant of proportionality or it is called molecular polarizability alpha is called constant of proportionality or molecular polarizability okay now come to the next point that is electric polarization okay. electric polarization is denoted by the symbol p that is capital p now how we can define the electric polarization see here the electric polarization is defined as the it is the product of the component of the dipole moment that is p small p here component of the dipole moment and n means number of molecules per unit value okay that is called electric polarization here see here electric polarization is defined as the it is the product of component of the dipole moment p and the number of molecules per unit value n okay and what is the si unit of this electric polarization that is coulombs per meter square okay okay now come to the next point here the relation between the polarization vector and density of the polarization charge the relation between the polarization vector and density of the polarization charge is okay, here now we have to consider the one dielectric slab here we have to consider the one dielectric slab which has having the length l okay then area of that uh, how much area have to that uh, slab is covered that is area is a and here we have to apply electric field e to this dielectric then what happens the individual charges individual charges are developed at both sides of this slab here individual charges means here a pair of equal and opposite charges a pair of equal and opposite charges is called individual individual charges that is a pair of equal and opposite charges is called individual charges when the electric field is applied to this dielectric slab then the individual charges are developed okay if individual charges are developed across uh, sorry both sides of this slab then dipole moment is produced that dipole moment here the dipole moment of the slab is given by which is equal to p into a into l so p is the moment a is the area of cross-section of that slab and l is the length of that dielectric slab that is called equation number 1 ok now see here consider the slab as a single large dipole ok you have to take one dielectric slab is here now you have to Consider the slab as a single large dipole. Okay, you have to take the dipole moment as a large single only slab. At that time, the surface charge, surface charge is given by Q P equal to sigma P into A. The surface charge is given by Q P equal to sigma P into A. That are separated by the length L. Therefore. The dipole moment is also produced here. That dipole moment is given by equation. Dipole moment is equal to charge into length. The dipole moment is equal to charge into length. And you have to know that what is the charge is given here? Surface charge is Q P equal to sigma P into A. Now put the value of charge. That is sigma P into A and length is the slab length is equal to take small L. Therefore, dipole moment equal to sigma P into A into L. Now that is equation number 2. Okay. Now compare the equation number 1 and equation number 2. Both are the dipole moment. Okay. Therefore, LHSI vanishes. Only RHSI can you know, compare here. 1 and 2. That is equation 1 is P A L is equal to equation number 2. Sigma P A into L. Now here remove this cancel. That is a and L cancel both sides. The remaining term is P equal to sigma into P. P equal to sigma into P. This is the relation between the polarization vector P and the sigma P is the density of the polarization charge. Okay. This is the, the relation between the polarization vector and density of the polarization charge.